for Motion, we specialize in pelvic floor physical therapy for women, men, and also kids. The most common thing we see is constipation. And constipation is not as simple as it sounds. A lot of times constipation is used as an umbrella term. So parents, when you're bringing your child in for these kind of situations for um, a urinary problem, or a defecation problem, a problem pooping. It's usually an indication that there's something going on with the pelvic floor and the way that that's functioning. So your pelvic floor is that area in your pelvis that are in between those two sit bones that you're sitting on. And in children, all of these muscles are still developing and they're still trying to figure out how to use them. With toileting, sometimes it's hard to know when to hold and when to go. A lot of times with pelvic floor, kids will often hold too much and then they won't know how to let go of those sphincters. What we do with pediatric pelvic floor therapy is we focus on exercise through fun games. So we'll run through obstacle courses, we will do balancing exercises, we'll do reaching and involve stickers and bouncing with balls, catching balls, balancing on one leg, all of these fun movements that children should be able to do. This is a good way to strengthen pelvic floor and your core, and kids have fun while they do it. So we expect in physical therapy that as you, as you go from week to week, that the kids are going to visibly get stronger. They're gonna get better at their exercises. You're gonna see that they have more control, and they really enjoy that ability to be able to play these games and to do these exercises. Uh, more efficiently or to be able to stand on their foot for a lot longer. And then what we're also going to do is we're going to chart on a chart actually how well are they functioning, how well is the bladder functioning, how well is the bowel functioning. And so you can see that progress, both the child can see it because they're part of the, the mix and the parent can see it because that's uh, a really important component. You've got that parent helping coaching the child through because they really can't do this on their own. They need that whole team effort. They need the parent helping, they need the physical therapist helping, and they just need that enthusiasm that's behind it all to get them to a point where they can control um, these bodily functions and um, improve their quality of life.